Our first alert weather. Well, good morning to you and here in Pocatello. Well, 82 degrees this early in the morning measure, mainly from that fire that has been on burning just out to the west side of town. See the southerly winds coming in for 18 miles an hour. Some of those gusts has been up in the 30s already this morning. That's even before the sun rises up this morning as well. So it's going to be a long day. Just going to have to get through it. And um, I just wish everybody out there the best and definitely stay alert throughout the day today as much of the pattern currently in the wet, wet, uh, in the weather has not been favorable at all for us. High pressures down there still in Colorado, still dominating most of the flow, southwesterly flow, and bringing in Again, more and more dry, warm air from the southwest. So you do see a little bit of rain off to the west, and we are talking about a cold front yesterday, and again today, that's exactly what we're looking at. Not mentioning yet, it's not on the surface analysis entirely, but as we go into our Vipercast, it's going to appear right behind this moisture that's crawling up to the north side of the state and just out of the way. As we look, as it goes further in, it's originally predicted to go through the day today. We originally had highs uh, yesterday um, t for today predicted around the high 80s. Unfortunately, you're still probably going to reach the mid-90s because look at this. Cold front doesn't reach us until late tonight around 8 p.m. Most of the moisture kind of fizzles out because this high pressure system has been so dominant over the country. just kind of knocks out any moisture that comes anywhere near the eastern side of Idaho. Good news is, is our temperatures should drop a little bit because of the front moving through, but it won't be the considerable really pack of punch that we need in order to get back down to our average uh, highs. So looking at highs probably dropping around five to seven degrees, which is something, but it's not enough. But if you look at the later point of the week, you can see some of the wind streaks though chasing this front, which means that they're going to be directly coming from the west to the east instead of the southwest, which will be better. I wouldn't say it'd be good because we still don't have any sort of moisture coming in. We still don't have anything knocking out the warm temperatures from getting out of here fully, but at least it knocks off the supply of more increasing warm heat throughout the rest of the week. So in the later half of the week, looking at least a little more favorable, but it's still going to be looking dry for the most part. High of around 90 today. We're getting to 72 already at 9 a.m. this morning, and here are your highs directly for the day today. Sticking down in the lower parts, boy, it's going to be warm because of those southerly winds. 97 in Preston, 89 in Soda Springs. We've got a little bit of a difference, though, because Old Faithful is only getting up to 81 today, 86 in Ashton. Let's go a little bit farther west. Chalice and Stanley broke records yesterday. Stanley getting to a high of 79 still today, and Chalice looking still to get up to 90 degrees today. Uh, t yesterday, the highs were 95 for Idaho Falls and 99 for Pocatello. Those highs today only looking around 92 degrees, so just a little less, but uh, it's still not going to be too much relief. But the highs tomorrow, once that cold front again comes through, again another knockdown of about 5 degrees or so, it's better than nothing. I, I'm just trying to find the positives in this here for you, but it's going to be a long week of drought and no rain chances looking for us. A high of 91 today. Friday Falls and a high of 85 tomorrow. Get a five degree drop of the temperature into Wednesday, but honestly, look at that. It quickly ramps up actually by the end of the week, gets up to back 94 on Friday. High of 93 for Blackfoot uh, today, a high of 86 tomorrow for us. Low staying in the low 50s throughout the week today throughout the week this week. Rexburg a little bit of a ramp down actually, 93 today, but 85 tomorrow and 86 on Thursday. But again, sunshine abound. It'll be beautiful conditions out, but uh, definitely be wary of the fire and nothing's going to help out. Salmon, 90 today and 85 degrees tomorrow. And lastly, Jackson only up to 89 today. 84 on Thursday. Be a little bit hopeful for a little bit of a cool down, actually, possibly by the end of the eight days. But we'll see how accurate that is exactly coming up.